Ew. To smile. Okay. <laughs> How was your homework? So good. So good. We love school. We had Dayton dorm room without some coasters. We love our University of Dayton coasters. I've been up all night, no sleep, cause I feel like I'm always dreaming. Hey guys, so I'm Allie and I'm a freshman at the University of Dayton. Um, I live in Marycrest Complex. Here at UD we have three freshman dorms here and they're all really nice, but Founders is the smallest and a lot of people in there like it though because like they get all super close because they just live like down away from Marycrest because Marycrest has the food in the bottom. Um, we also have the biggest rooms uh, for freshman dorms on campus which is super nice, We're really lucky. Um, and the other rooms are laid out similarly but I think if you live in Stewart, which you have to climb a hill to get up there, um, people get really close like by climbing up the hill and like if you live in Founders people get close because not that many people live in Founders so everyone just kind of like becomes friends. That's really cool. But in both of those your bed I believe has to be lofted uh, just because the room like configuration is so small. Whereas uh, here in Marycrest you can have your beds down low, you can have them lofted like we do uh, just because we like having the extra sitting room, the extra moving room. Obviously, you can go to the library and study and uh, go out to eat and stuff, but like sometimes just on your way back from class or like maybe you're just tired, it's cold, you don't want to go outside, you want to stay in your room and study or uh, eat dinner in your room, which is great, but if all your stuff is on top of each other, it just gets a little bit confining. That's why we like to have like the extra space. So where I'm sitting now is like my workspace under my desk, and so that's like my work area, and my bed's up above. And then if I want to eat, I can either sit on my beanbag chair or like on our futon that we have and um, eat, do whatever, chill. And so like at least you have like those different areas to spend time, like things like that. So my roommate was asleep when I was first filming this. So the tour of my room is a little bit of a synopsis. But I included a tour of my really good friend's room. They live on the seventh floor. I live on the fifth. So just a few flights of stairs up. So, so that's super nice, but that just gives you two different perspectives. We both have our beds lofted, but at least then you can see like different color scheme, different ideas for decorations, and then just see like overall how the room's laid out. Um, and then we have like a super good view on our floor, or on our like side, I guess. Um, so I'll have to show you guys that because it's awesome. We have a tree in front of ours, but my friend down the hall has the perfect view. So we just like open up her blinds and we hang out in there and just stare out the window because it's just so pretty. So anyway, I'll get going with the tour, but I love it here. And once again, I live in a Marycrest complex and I'm a freshman. And honestly, you can't go wrong here uh, with the dorms because they really treat us so well. But... Uh, Marycrest is definitely the biggest and I like I've really enjoyed living here everyone on the floor like says hi to each other And it's just like really welcoming environment. So let's get going Okay, so they have a TV not that many people have TVs here honestly, but They have a super nice TV. So we have bachelor Tuesdays because it doesn't come on Hulu until Tuesday and then Aaron bought this really nice rack on Amazon and so like they store some food, some wet wipes, anything you might need up there and then it holds your TV which is super nice, goes right above the fridge and the university gives us both the fridge and the microwave so that's super duper nice and it's got this, some people have this freezer on top but like other people just have like a small freezer inside the refrigerator. And also, they have their beds lofted, which is super nice because, I mean, it stinks that you have to climb up, like, on top of your bed every night. And there's not honestly a good way to climb up since, like, the end of the bed is basically the ladder. It's just, like, really inconvenient. Like, a lot of people just, like, climb on top of their desk and then up onto their bed. And it seems to work fine. But having your bed lofted, even though, like, honestly, this is, like, a pretty spacious dorm... 
having the bed lofted just like allows for a, this nice seating area. Um, they have a little ottoman for their footrest, some pillows so you can lay on the floor if there's like more people in here. And then Claire's bed's lofted too, so like that's where the seating area is. <laughs> So originally, Claire's bed was here where her desk is now, and then Aaron's bed was still where it is now, but it was lower, so they were like butted up against each other and both like lower down. Um, and that was nice, it just kind of cut the room off, so like there was a lot less sitting space, and so like now they're able to host, and it's super nice, especially since like they're the only people of our friends with a TV, so they can have people in here, have like plenty of seating space. Oh, also, it's super nice right here behind the door. They keep their sweeper, their Swiffer. The university obviously gives us a trash can and a recycling bin, but they move theirs uh, over by the window. So they also have this really nice Keurig, some coffee cups. Erin got these super cute cups for her grad party, which love them. Some solo cups. And then they just have a little bit of storage. They got this super nice bin at Aldi. Or cabinet kind of. Claire come show us what's in these little bins here. Okay so we kind of have in this one just like our laundry stuff, Tide Pods, dryer sheets and stuff. Um, here we have some like a knife so we can cut things like apples and different things. Plastic, um, silverware, some cups, bags. Just like a bunch of junk honestly, trash bags, paper towels and stuff we like don't really know where to put so it all gets shoved down there. Also, it's super nice. Each room, at least in our building, we live in Marycrest, um, has this nice wood built-in type of thing. And so a lot of people put little storage bins like they did. And they have their little cute quotes in the middle. Super nice. And then up here is like snacks. There's some school supplies, just little knick-knack stuff, like extra things. And then there's this super nice vanity. And they hung like pictures, a little motivational quote. They have like a nice little caddy thing for all their hair supplies. Um, lotion, deodorant, all that kind of stuff. It's super nice. And then down here, we have these drawers. So like usually one roommate gets one side and the other roommate gets the other. So you get like at least four like for sure built in drawers, which is super duper nice. And then in the closet, a lot of people get these curtains just to cover up the mess, it just looks cleaner, but... So there's a shelf um, here, oh, the wooden shelf. You can just put more storage containers up there. And then you obviously have the rod that comes with it where you hang all your clothes. And then Erin has this super nice thing where she, like, it's Vera Bradley, and she, like, can hang extra, like, medicine and stuff like that in it. Then, like, they added little hooks, like, just command strip hooks to hang their towels, like, and robes and stuff like that, which is super nice. And then down here, they have just some sweaters and stuff, but, like, once again, it's a wooden built-in, so it's super nice. Already, the school gives you so much organizational type of stuff, so that's super nice. She has this laundry bin, which is so nice because, like, as you can see, it has these handles. So like we have to lug it down to the first floor of the ground and she lives on the seventh floor so like that's kind of a hole. So it's super nice to have the handles. And then also here this is Erin has her desk under her bed which is super duper nice because it's like your own little work zone, little work cave. And so it obviously comes with the chair and the desk and then there's this little extra separate part and you like don't have to keep it with the desk if you don't want to. It, it moves, it's not attached as you can see here. Um, so like Erin kept it with the desk so that she has more space and then there's also this little extra workspace that comes out. There's a little drawer here and then below that is this thing and you can like put a lock on this even so if you want to keep like valuables in there and lock them up you could do that too. And then Erin brought these little plastic dressers. You can get them at like Walmart, or Target, anything like that. And they're super nice. She just puts extra clothes like sweatpants, t-shirts, stuff like that in there. And then obviously she has her little decorations. Claire also has her desk next to her little stand. And then she uses that to like climb up to her bed. Cause like I was saying earlier, 
the steps like obviously those are against the wall so she can't get to them and then they're just like honestly really inconvenient to climb up and like they have stuff hanging from their bed so like it's just kind of hard to climb those those ladders so both of them have bed rails um the beds don't come with bed rails because they don't come lofted but all you have to do is place a work order on the university website and someone will come install your bed rail for you super easy super quick usually but eventually like they probably will run out i've heard like some people weren't able to get them so like if you think you're gonna want to loft your bed i would definitely try to get them like early in the year if you can and then they brought a printer we have printing services at the library and i think we're actually getting them in our building like on the first floor so that's super duper nice but they brought their own printer <laughs> so yeah that's basically their room get the nice big open view here and it's just super cute and like honestly it's so inconvenient to have to climb into your bed but like you get used to it and the space that it gives you just to hang out and like spend like to work at your desk underneath like or just to be able to like sit in these chairs and like stuff like that it's honestly so worth it to me this is where the RA lives there's a nice water fountain in the bathroom. And they all have this super nice common area where people can study and just lounge and hang out. So here we are on the first floor, headed to the laundry wing. Let's go through this nice little door here. It smells so good. All those people. There's literally tons of washers up and down here and then over here and then there's tons of dryers double stacked there. So honestly, it's pretty big, but when everyone tries to do their laundry the same day, it's really hard to get washer and dryer.